All right, so PT measures how quickly um, your blood actually clots. The PTT is the partial thromboblastin time, and it's mainly used to monitor a person's response to taking some sort of anticoagulant. And now um, INR, International Normalized Ratio, and it helps to ensure that the PT tests are standard and that they are accurate. A normal PTT is 25 to 35. Normal INR is like 0.8 to 1.1. Unless you're taking Coumadin, then you want it right around 2 to 3. A low INR means that your blood is not thin enough, like it's too thick. It'll coagulate easier, make clots easier. An INR above 3, even when you're on Coumadin and stuff like that, means, okay, your blood is actually too thin. You're at risk for bleeding. We definitely pay attention to the INR a little bit more. Any INR that is above 4.9 or 5 is critical, and that's when we are like, oh shit. Remember that the INR is slightly higher for newborns, like 2 to 3. Now a patient taking anticoagulants, is specifically Coumadin, whose INR we are monitoring pretty closely, we want to avoid IM injections, avoid any activities that will result in injury, like let's not go skydiving or try out acrobatics at this time, uh, use a soft toothbrush, don't floss um, to violently, shave with an electric razor, not a straight razor, um, advise that venti punctures or injection sites will take a little bit longer to clot off and you may develop a little hematoma there, so you'll have to put a little bit uh, more pressure. I hope this helps. Good luck on your test.